Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and happy Easter to everyone. I know it's late in my neck of the woods. It's a little after seven. It's midnight if you're on the East Coast and it might even be the next day depending on what part of God's world you're in. Nonetheless, I am still here to wish you all a happy Easter night and I hope you have had a blessed day. And I wanna share with you a Easter flippy card. It has been such a while since I have brought anything flippy. Well, I'm back in action starting today. Now, if you don't know what a flippy card is, I will have a link to my flip back art playlist. Actually, I'll link to playlist and you can learn all about this style of art. Now, you probably can't see the cover of my card. I used a stencil but my ink wasn't dark enough. But I will show you how this stencil looks because I used it inside of the card. Now, this is how it looks when you open it up. I love flip back art. I love all the flip flop action. It's flipping everywhere. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Let me get a little bit closer. So I kept this card simple. Here, I have a cross because it's all about the cross, not just today, but each and every day. And it flips as such. I have a bubble sticker placed on the top of this larger flippy. And I have incorporated a little bit of my Bible card technique. I make Bible cards. Basically, those are cards that have the scripture as the message on the inside. And so I printed out the passage of Christ's resurrection on vellum. And you can read all about that here. The great thing about um, Bible cards, individuals, or even if you do read the Bible, it's a nice refresher. You read the Bible right in the card. And I, I love that. Now down here, I've added a bubble sticker to this flippy and it flips as such. Let me set it back down for a second. Here is some washi tape and I've toned down the black color with a little bit of ink as well with the pattern paper that I've used. On this side, I used a stencil, Crazy Blessed, a sticker here that says Faith, and another flippy that has the bubble sticker on it. Okay, so let me flip both of these at the same time. Another great aspect of flip back art, you can decorate the back of your flippies. And you see I've done that here. I've added a vellum sheet that has different descriptions on it. A flippy that has this beautiful cross. Mm -hmm. I just picked up this die. It's by Spellbinders and it's retired. I ordered one from um, a seller from the UK and got it for a fabulous price. It was like $15, including shipping, and I got it within a week, okay? That was a steal. I used a die to cut out the word faith there, and I can still go back and add something here. Yes, you just saw me remove this. It's one of the cool features of flip back art. You can attach, detach, and reattach. Okay, so let's move down here to this bottom portion because we got more flip action going on. Check out this. I tried to have a cross on every one of my flippies. So here I used an embossing folder and you see the cross of words. I love that. And I took ink just to highlight the different words. And that one flips as so. To this page, which is the back page, but I have a sticker cross on a flippy. And then I have another flippy that has a bubble um, sticker on it. Okay, so here I've used another embossing folder to emboss this paper, added a sticker, and you see all the crosses, right? Can you guys see that? So cool. And then when you flip this one back like this, ah, you see a couple things. Can you see? You see the back. I've added a sticker directly on my flippy, but then check this out. This is what the front states. But on this back page, I used stenciling paste. 
I love how this turned out. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And that's found in Isaiah something. It got kind of messy right here. But I love how that turned out. Okay, so I'm going to flip that one back that way and come to this side to the right. I've added little bitty metallic crosses to this flippy. I wanted to make a shaker, but I wanted to keep this flat so it can fit nicely inside of an envelope. And then this one, this one don't flip, but it's a pocket. And I've added a card and stamped on the scripture, the Lord will fight for you. You need only be still and added a stamp of a card. Now there are a couple more die cuts I want to add. I have a Sizzix praying hands die and also a cross and what else is it? Um, a Bible. But they're in the garage somewhere. So I'll be adding one of those die cuts here and probably one here and probably one here. So I have several more elements I need to add but this is pretty much done. I like how this turned out. Yes, I'm loving flip back art. Um, compare it to just a regular card. I mean, wouldn't you want to receive something like this? It has movement. It's interactive. Very easy to make. I do have tutorials in my playlist. But rest assured, you are going to see more and more flip back Now, before art. I say good night, I want to pause on this page for a second in case some of you are not familiar with the resurrection story well you could read all about it right here so feel free to pause the video and learn all about Christ's resurrection once again I want to wish you all a happy Easter and as always blessings <laughs>